Hi everyone, Joel Wolfson here with an updated review of AI Clear, a fabulous pro adjustment for Topaz Studio that uses artificial intelligence to remove noise and sharpen images. I did a review of this in June when it was first released. Topaz just released a new version of it that has some really useful new tools along with a fairly significant speed increase. Since that time, I've been able to use AI Clear on a lot of different images, and I'll show you a couple of examples so you can get a feel for it with different types of subjects. So, what does AI Clear do? Well, it does two important jobs that I find saves me a lot of time. It does a great job of capture sharpening, which of course you have to do with every image to recover detail lost in the image capture process, and it will also get rid of noise. And the cool part is that the artificial intelligence is able to distinguish noise from image detail. And with this update, you have even more tools to tweak that result so that you don't lose any important detail. Because it does such a great job of capture sharpening, I find that I use it on virtually every image that I open in Studio. So let me show you a couple of examples. Um, let's start with uh, this shot of this goose foot that turns a nice red in the fall. And I chose this file because it has a lot of fine detail. It's a large file, 42 megapixels, and that represents a good challenge. I'll go over to the right and click on Adjustments, and watch when I pull down to the AI Clear, it'll immediately go to 100%, so you can see what it's doing. It will start out with the auto setting where it evaluates the image to decide how much model strength to use. And it usually takes about seven seconds. Voila, there we are. Um, although I uh, shot this at ISO 800, there's virtually no noise. So all I'm looking to do here is capture sharpening. And if you look at all this detail, I think it did a really nice job. Let me go up to the original thing here so you can look at before. So there's the before and there's the after. I'll go back to the overall view. So there we are. We have some really nice uh, capture sharpening. One click. It took about eight seconds and we're ready to go. All right, now let's try a tougher image. I shot this portrait of my daughter under a canopy of plants and trees and there wasn't much light. I shot it at ISO 12,800 so when I enlarge to 100%, you can see there's lots of noise. Um, chroma noise, which has the color artifacts. Luminance noise, which is just the sort of general greeniness. Um, this is also a full resolution file, but it's from my Fuji X-Pro2. Fuji uses a completely different kind of sensor from everyone else, so it's difficult to process from that standpoint. And it's still 24 megapixels, so lots of information. Let's see how it does. I'll go over to adjustments here on the right, go down to AI clear, and it seems to take about the same amount of time as my Sony files, so somewhere in that seven, eight second range or something like that to process. Let's take a look at what AI clear did and a quick glance at the new features. I'll go up here and use the before and after. And you can see it's a pretty dramatic difference in noise level. Uh, now we have nice smooth skin here, but without sacrificing detail, uh, just look at the eyelashes and mouth, um, the hair. We see it all with uh, excellent clarity. Uh, the previous version did this too, but there are three main new features. Uh, first and most important in my mind is the speed increase. Topaz claims 2 to 400 percent depending on the image. I'd say that's pretty accurate. I didn't do any exact comparisons, but it's definitely much faster. Um, over here, the auto feature is new. When you invoke AI Clear, that's what it uses. Basically, the AI evaluates the image and applies what it thinks is the best model strength from among the low, medium, and high options here. And of course, you can change it if you don't like it. Um, just for example, I'll go to the, here, let me go to the low, because I think what it used was a medium. Yeah, so, you, so when I go to the low, you can see 
um, there's just less noise suppression and that's what it's supposed to do. Um, so sometimes that'll be appropriate uh, if you want to get more detail and there isn't offensive noise. Um, I can go to the high and that's going to be the most noise suppression. Um, still pretty good detail uh, in the eyes here. And the third new feature is the enhanced sharpness, uh, which is down here. You have a low and a high. Um, let me click on that. This will augment uh, the sharpness that's applied to the details in the image. Uh, I have to say it's a pretty subtle change. And uh, you'll see varying degrees of sharpness enhancement depending on the model strength in the individual image. Now, although artificial intelligence does a great job distinguishing noise from detail, you have all these adjustments to suit it to your taste. I'm going to also show you a little technique I use to save some more time. Let me go to the overall view. Now, you notice you saw the blue status bar again. What happens is AI Clear will reevaluate every time you do something to the image. And if you have a reasonably fast machine, it's no big deal. But if you're satisfied with the noise cleanup and the detail, um, you just go down here and click on the Apply button, and that will become your base image. It, it creates a new image, having applied it off to the right on your film strip here. There's also another option with AI Clear, and that is you can combine it with the batch processing capabilities of Studio. So if you have a shoot with a bunch of similar images and you want to get rid of the noise um, and or sharpen all of them, just tweak your settings on one of the images and then apply it to the whole batch. So for those of you that haven't seen it in Topaz Studio, when you go over to the file menu, there's a thing that says batch process and you choose your source folder, destination, all of that good stuff. It's, it's fairly self-explanatory. There you have it, a useful update to an already great pro adjustment. If you already own it, the update is free and will be automatic when you open Studio the next time. If you don't own it, Topaz has free 30-day trials, so you can give it a try. If you end up buying it, go ahead and use my coupon code JWolfson, and that'll get you 15% off, which, by the way, works on all Topaz plugins and pro adjustments. Uh, they even have a pro pack bundle which even though it's already 50% off buying the individual ones, you still get that 15% off the price. So give it a try, and um, hope this video was helpful, and we will see you next time.